Hi guys, this is the Rhino bracelet made with a sanctified weave with a covenant modification that I'm going to show you today. This is my Rhino bead, a Kruger EDC original. And I use, I'm, I make a shackle of it, connecting it with this spine clasp. Set it up with two cow's hitches. Take the second collar cord and push it through the knot on the underside. Take the third strand, which will be the covenant modification, and attach it to your jig and push it through the knot also to attach it nicely like that. And start with going around the covenant modification center strand. And then underneath with the black cord and the gold cord goes underneath and back into the loop of the black cord on the same side. That's the knot. So tighten the modification first and then the knot. And again, go around the center strand and leave the working end. Take the other working ends of the black cord and go underneath and out on the other side. Take the gold collar, go underneath and back into the loop on the same side where you went in. Tighten it and again around the center, underneath and out on the other side, underneath and back on the same side through the loop. Tighten it underneath and above the center, underneath and out on this, the other side, and underneath and back on the same side through the loop. That is the whole knot. Repeat until your desired length. I have sped up this process. And then I will show you how to finish the knot very close to the bead. So once you get to the last knot, tighten it. And then push the center strand back through the bracelet and leave it hanging on the back side. You won't use that anymore. Take the black working ends and go through the center just as the normal sanctified, uh, sorry, yeah, the normal sanctified knot. Like that, but with the gold strand, go under and around the whole bracelet before you go back into the loop. So you don't go through the middle like you did on the earlier passes. Tighten it as much as you can to make it look good. And now the working ends come out from slightly different places in the bracelet. So the black strands you can push back through the same loop as where the gold strand goes, which will make it look a little bit better. There you go. And now you cut and cinch all the working ends. Try to cut it close to the body of the bracelet. Cinch and that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check us out on KrugerEDC.com and follow us on social media. Instagram KrugerEDC. Thank you.